Dear students, you are welcome in the Education Department at Child Association. Our lesson today is Everyone Eats Bread. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more lessons and don't forget to activate the bell to stay notified. Our objectives are to read the text correctly, to talk about the history of bread. Before we start our lesson, let's talk about your favorite food. What is your favorite food? Now, what comes to your mind when you hear the word bread? Now, let's read the following passage. Bread for everyone. You probably think about the flat loaf eaten in Lebanon, Palestine, and some other Arab countries. But there are many other kinds of bread, and bread comes in many shapes. Everywhere around the world, people eat bread. French people like to eat long skinny bread called baguette. Scandinavians like to eat loaves of dark rye bread. And Americans love white bread that can be toasted. In Greece, people eat pita bread, which is like the Arabic flat bread, but thicker. One can stuff meats, cheese, or vegetables inside a loaf of pita bread. So notice now. Here in this passage, they tell us that some Arabs eat flat loaf, the French eat long skinny bread called baguette, the Scandinavians like to eat loaves of dark rye bread, Americans eat toast, the Greeks eat pita bread. Now listen to the text about bread and how it changed through time. Take notes to fill in the outline in your worksheet. Bread for everyone. From the earliest times of history, humans have made bread. During the Stone Age, people made hard bread from barley and wheat. Grains of wheat were found in human settlements dating back 8,000 years. The early humans baked their loaves of bread in hot ashes. In Egypt, bakers made bread over 5,000 years ago. If you visit the British Museum in London, you can see actual loaves of this ancient bread. Egyptians also invented the closed clay brick oven. Bread became so important in Egypt that it was even used instead of money. From Egypt, grain spread to Europe. So here, in this paragraph, they told us that Stone Age people made bread 8,000 years ago. They made bread, they baked their bread in hot ashes. The Egyptians made bread over 5,000 years ago. They invented a closed clay break oven. In Egypt, bread was used instead of money. Grain spread from Egypt to Europe. In ancient Middle East, baking bread was apparently women's job. However, 
in the palaces of kings and princes, bakers were most probably men. In 168 BCE, a baker's guild was formed in Rome, and baking became a specialized profession. The guild did not allow bakers to change to another occupation. Bakers' children had to become bakers too. At the time, all work in Rome was done by slaves. Bakers were the only exception and were free men. The Romans and the Greeks liked white bread and brown bread was eaten only by the poor. Bread that you buy in the store today is made totally by machines from the mixing of flour to baking and packaging. But if you visit a small neighborhood bakery, you will see the baker forming the dough into round flat balls and putting them in the oven using a long shovel. So notice here, in Rome, baking became a specialized profession in 168 BCE. Baker's Guild did not allow bakers to change to another occupation and bakers' children become bakers. Bakers were the only workers who are free men. That's all for today. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you liked this lesson, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more. And don't forget to click the bell to get all the updates.